All right, so this video is going to be on encrypted shared preferences. So how to get started with this. So let's make a new project. Uh, we'll start with an empty compose activity. I'll call it encrypted shared prefs demo. Okay, so uh, first thing we're going to want to do, we're going to want to make some class to hold our encryption stuff. So um, let's make a class called crypto utils and make a function save in save to what does it say shared prefs. Okay. Now what does it take? So we need to pass the file name of uh, the encrypted shared preferences file. So we'll call it, let's see, that'll be the first, first parameter. So shared prefs file name, that's a string. Then we need context. So pass in context. Um, and then the shared preferences is a key value data structure. So we need to pass in a key to uh, uh, store it and retrieve it later. And then the value, the value that's being stored. So I don't want to use the word key because that can be a, a misnomer when we're dealing with anything in the cryptographic space. So I'm going to use the word look, look up alias. Uh, we'll use this alias to look up the value, and that'll be a string. And then uh, we'll say plain text is the value that we're restoring, and that'll also be a string. And okay, so we're going to save that. Okay, so the first thing we need is a master key. Uh, we'll just, let's see, val master key, we'll set that equal to. We got to get master key dot builder We're going to add this dependency Sync that up. All right, there we go. Now we can find it in the builder that takes uh, context. Okay, we got to set the key scheme, which is that AES two fifty six GCM, and then we call build on that. So now we have a master key. Now we need the shared preferences. And that is equal to encrypted shared preferences. Uh, we've got to do create. We're going to pass context, uh, the shared preference file name. Um, we need to pass the master key. And then Uh, what, let's see, what are these last two? Oops. Are the preferences encryption scheme and then the value encryption screen, scheme. So scheme used for encrypting the keys is the first one. Uh, and then the scheme used for encrypting the values. Okay. Um, so the it's kind of a misnomer here. I think the, the pref key encryption scheme, that's the key on the key value data structure, not the actual encryption keys, I believe. I could be wrong though. Um, I'm not sure it really matters too much. Does it say the scheme used for encrypting keys? Yeah. Okay. Anyways, so we got to set that. It'll be
Okay, so we do the key encryption scheme. The AS256 SID. And then the next one uh, be the value encryption scheme. And we use GCM. And I'm going to source format this so this looks better. You get, get a better look on it. Okay, so we have our shared preferences. We created it. Context, the shared preferences file name, the master key, which we created right here, and then uh, the key encryption scheme and the value encryption scheme. Um, so yeah, on the shared preferences, both the key and the value are both encrypted. So um, then we're gonna uh, we're gonna encrypt something. We're gonna store something. So let's do with uh, shared preferences edit. Okay, now with that editor, we're gonna put a string and we're gonna pass it the lookup alias, which is the key, but not an encryption key. It's the key in the key value data structure that is shared preferences. And then we're gonna pass it the plain text. <clears throat> and we call apply on this. And uh, we could do a little log statement. Uh, let's get a little tag here. Okay. And let's see. We'll say save to encrypted shared prefs. All right. And in our main activity, we're going to call, let's see, let's get some, some values here. So we'll say, let's do the shared prefs file name equals, um, let's say we're storing, I don't know, users. Uh, we'll call it so user shared prefs that's the file name and we'll go um, let's see id1 equals we'll do 101 we'll make some ids here val uh, user 1 equals alice val id2 equals 102 val id user 2 equals bob okay so we got the shared preference file name we have some things we want to store in there ids to look up those values uh, what else now we need um, let's first get a handle on the crypto Utils. I'll say crypto utils. Save the share preps. Let's pass the name. And then context equals this activity. And then the lookup alias will say is ID one and the plain text the value. It's going to be user one. I'm going to format that. I'm going to add these just so it's a little more readable. Okay. So let's go ahead and run this. All right, we got an error. Duplicate class found. So I uh, got to update some things here. I'm going to change this to 8. Um, change that. Compose UI version 141. Change that to 8.0. Um, and then let me go in this.
Okay. Update these, and then let me do a sync. Let me try running it again. Let's see if that fixed it. Oh, I forgot to do one more. Change this to 1.4.1. Now let's sync it again. And then we'll run it. All right. Okay, so let's see, it ran. Let's look at the log cat. Okay, so it says it's saved to encrypted shared preferences. Let's see if it actually happened. Let me stop this. Going to view tools. Let's do device file explorer. Okay, so in the device file explorer, data, data again, and then find the package name of the app. Where it is encrypted shared preferences right here? Shared preferences demo. And then let's look at the shared preferences file. So you can see. Um, it encrypted the key, which is used to look up, and it encrypted the value, and it base64 encoded it as well. So um, now let's add let's add one more. Actually, let me keep that in the tab. Let's add one more. We're gonna do ID two. This is for Bob and user two. Now. Let's run it again. Okay, it says it. Uh, let's see. Check the log cat. It says it saved. Let's verify that. Let's open the device uh, file explorer again. And there we go. There's the second. One of these is the new one. I think this is the new one right here. Yep. So uh, it, say it encrypts both the key and the value, which is nice. So that's how you use encrypted shared preferences to store, um, store things in, um, in uh, encrypt it locally.